Probably uh, one of the last uh, nice days, right? <laughs> Me and Cam are gonna go for a ride. Go grab a grab him a haircut. Go grab something to eat. Take a ride up north. After next week, it's looking like all in the 40s. So you gotta use these beautiful days as we can. You ready, partner? Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. Put the uh, garage build on hold for a day. Need some uh, wind therapy. Adjust my clutch, it's, it's grabbing like literally as soon as I let go and re start releasing, it's grabbing way too soon.
Empire. We just stopped at Texas Roadhouse, and of course, you figure they open up at three o'clock. Who the hell opens up at three o'clock? So we're gonna go to the Outback and go have a steak over there. You ready for a steak, buddy? Oh yeah, always. Gotta look, get a little blooming onion. He's never had one, they're really good. And uh, we'll get a steak. I haven't been here in a while though. Yeah, yeah I haven't been to an Outback in definitely several years. We're gonna start off with the blooming onion. Blooming onion. A little bread. We're gonna have a 13 ounce ribeye, some veggies, and a salad. What are you having, same thing? Shrimp on the barbie. Are you? Uh, I'm, having, uh, <laughs> I'm having a ribeye. All right. <laughs> Look at this thing, it's beautiful. Go ahead. <laughs> I got a little French onion soup. How is it? Mm -hmm. Tasty, right? Mm -hmm. Wow, that's really good. Yeah, it is. I haven't, I haven't had this in so long. Mm. You want me to try to take it apart? You see? That's really good. It is. That is really good. 2,000 calories in this thing right here. Is it really? Mm -hmm. Are you serious? You read it? Calories. Get out of here. Look where you just hold them. Oh my goodness. It's the season of the da 200 da pounders. Daily intake. All right, we, uh, I, I didn't even record the steak. I didn't even record oh. the steak. But honestly, I'm going to... I'm gonna tell you guys right now, me and me and Cam agree, don't, uh, we set this inside. If you want a good steak, go to Texas Roadhouse. I would say probably nine, nine and a half out of 10. Oh, yeah. And then Longhorn is like an eight and a half, nine. Outback for me, like a three. Three? A three. Uh, that's that's, that's <laughs> kind of cool. No, nah, that's, that's the are truth. They are, yeah. Uh -huh. I'd give it a Good luck. <laughs> So uh, while I'm here getting the heated grips flashed, um, I just found out that my bike does have uh, the recoil on it. So while I'm here, I'm gonna have them look at that wire. It's the uh, main lead wire, I guess, coming off of the regulator. And what happens is if it's, I believe if it's too tight, it rubs up against the front of the engine case and it could, cut the wire or make a short and obviously then I think it would pop the main fuse and your bike wouldn't start and then you would be stranded so they're gonna check that and do that and the fix is if it's not rubbing and they don't have to replace the wire then all they do is relocate the wire which should only take a couple minutes so I'll let you guys know what happens and then I'll also get the heated grips flashed so uh, they're gonna bring it in now and uh, then I'll let you guys know how the heated grips work and I hope, I hope, cross my fingers that I don't have a problem with the wire. This bike, man, oh my God, look how good this thing looks. Guys, tell me, tell me this thing don't look mean as hell. Tell you the new models with a set of wheels especially the 21 inch in the front with the plus two suspension just looks absolutely killer all right just got back home heated grips baby look at that so i got it on setting three and let me tell you 
on setting three, your hands are on fire. They work great. And then you got two, one, and that's off. And then back on. That's the switch right there. It worked really good. But I do have one problem that I gotta take care of really quick. My clutch is literally grabbing. I don't know why something might have loosened up. Uh, I'm really not sure. Um, but it's literally, you see how the lever is fully depressed now? It's literally, as soon as I let it go, even the slightest off of the grip, it's, uh, the clutch is engaging and that's not good. So I needed to engage like at least an inch away from the grip. So I'm gonna adjust the clutch really quick, guys. I'll show you how to do that. And then I wanna go over uh, the recall again uh, what they did to the bike and things you should know So you want to put the bike upright when you take the primary cover off so all the fluid doesn't start coming out all over the floor. So we're gonna pop that cover off and we're gonna adjust the clutch. Had a great day today with Cam. Went out for a nice ride, put about 120, 130 miles on today. Grabbed something to eat, got my heated grips flashed and also got my recall done. So now we're gonna have to loosen that nut up. I'll have to get an Allen key for that as well. You wanna back that nut off. So what you do is you go counterclockwise. This is an Allen key right here. You go counterclockwise with the shaft until it's loose. And then you go clockwise until you feel force or resistance right there. And then I'm gonna go a half a turn back and that's it and then while I have a socket on this we're going to tighten that up all right so that's it we could put the cover back on and it should be good to go. It's really easy to adjust a cable clutch. Then we're gonna tighten this back down. Then I'll show you guys on the bike, I'll start it up and show you guys like where it's grabbing now because it, it literally was grabbing, like I'm not even kidding, as soon as you just release it off of that grip, it would start grabbing. And that's not how I like my clutch to feel. Let me show you how it is now. See the heated grip sign comes down? Nice. Heated grips. If you guys are interested, Burton County, Harley Davidson, uh, have the heated grips so they could do the flash for you. It literally took them about five minutes. So that's awesome. And, and they work so good on the new models. I have to say they work a lot better than the previous heated grips. So I'm gonna put it into gear now. You see, you see now where it's grabbing? Watch the bike. Look, I'm already about a half an inch out and it's still not grabbing. Now it's starting to grab. That's where I want it. so easy it's so easy on these bikes oh man heated grips there's nothing like it honestly you got to have heated grips if you're gonna ride in the winter in the early spring or fall you gotta have it it just helps so much okay that's where i want the bike 
We got some bad weather coming the rest of the week. <sighs> Hasn't rained literally for a couple months and uh, it's just, everything's so dry. It, honestly, I'm not kidding you. It feels like uh, Cali uh, at the moment here in New Jersey. Reservoirs are dry, forest fires everywhere. I've never seen it like this. I'm 52 years old. I've never seen it like this here in New Jersey. It's so, so dry. We're supposed to get two days of rain here in the next couple days, so looking forward to it. But finishing out the video, guys, the wire, let me grab a flashlight and show you guys where this wire is. So first, I'm gonna tell you this though. If you have a recall, just go and get it done because it's really, really important. Um, I actually totally forgot about it. I went there for my heated grips and obviously they mentioned and told me that my bike does have the recall. So um, I'm happy that they checked it. I'm happy that there was nothing wrong with the wiring because it was off of the engine case. So all they do is actually move it, they relocate it. But if you do have a problem, like I said, you could be in a turn and if that wire rubs through and shorts uh, out your bike, basically the main fuse, I believe, the 50 amp will short, it'll shut your bike off. You could potentially have an accident. So if I were you, do it. Like I said before, if they don't have the part, I would call ahead and say, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be bringing my bike in for the recall. Do you have that wire? Do you have the harness, right, in stock? So just in case, if you do bring your bike, this way they could immediately fix it if there is a problem. If there is a problem with the wire and they do not have the part, then they legally cannot release the bike. But having said that, I'm not telling you to ride the bike and don't worry about it or, you know, oh, I'll get it done when they have the part. I'm not saying that. I would literally tell you this, do not ride the bike. And if your bike has the recall, get it done immediately. Just leave it in the garage, call up whatever local dealer is next to you, make sure they have that part. If you do have the recall and just bring it in. And it's not a big job, it's not a, a huge problem. They'll fix it, it's under warranty, and that's it. But I am telling you, don't ride the bike because even if you're in some slow speed maneuvering, um, that would probably be even worse because if you're on a highway, even in a turn, your bike is still moving fairly quickly. Probably bigger problem is if you're in a slow speed, say doing a slow speed turn and the engine uh, shuts down, that bike is gonna go down. And if, say if you're two up, uh, your leg underneath, whatever, you get the point, you could have a bad accident over something small like that. So just uh, rather, I'd rather you not ride the bike and go get it, uh, go get it checked out. And then if they, if they do have the part, bring it in. But until then, leave the bike in the garage. So the wire is actually in here. It's the wire off of the regulator. And I don't know, it's right there. You see the, the black and red wire right there? Hopefully you guys could see it. It's, there, it's coming out black and red with the sheathing around it. So that's a, a pretty, thick wire right there you can see it see and let me get closer black black and red right there so that's a pretty thick wire and all they do is relocate it so my recall is done you can take a look obviously and see for yourself if the chafing's happening but better to just take it to the dealer make sure they do it the right way and get it done and it's over. So now at least um, I'm not worried about it. I know it's not going to happen to me. So that's it. I just wanted to bring you this video and we had a great day and get out there and ride. If you're having some great weather, uh, just get out even for an hour or two. It just uh, it helps you out. I have a lot going on in the garage. If uh, you're new to the channel, I'm redoing the garage. We got a, a storage unit out there. I'm emptying out the garage. We're going to be doing an entire garage reno. Uh, in the next several weeks and several months. So I'm bringing you guys along on that process. So thanks for watching guys. We'll see you guys later. Peace out.